Good morning, children. Where are you? <laughs> Stand up. Someone's missing. <laughs> Yay. It is so great to see you here today. So, can you tell me what? It's kind of hard to see way up from way up here. Can you tell me what I have? A pencil, a mechanical pencil. Do you notice that something's not quite right about this pencil? It, it doesn't have any graphite in it. So it's pretty much useless, right? The graphite's missing, which means the pencil can't write or draw, which is basically the only thing it's supposed to do, right? So what about this thin piece of graphite? Do you think I could use it by itself? Let's see. Well, oh no, it breaks. So it's really no good. Useless. So basically, the only way the pencil can work correctly then is if the two parts work together, the pencil and the graphite. Once that happens, then the pencil, and I have one here, works. See how that works? They're working together. Once that happens, the pencil writes much better on the paper. The pencil and paper not working well together is a lot like today's scripture story, where we heard about people not working together whatsoever. In the story, we heard that it was so crowded that you couldn't even eat. Can you imagine being in a place so crowded that you couldn't even eat? I mean, we are Methodists. We do like our potlucks. We also heard that some people were saying mean things about Jesus, and then Jesus' mothers and brothers tried to pull away Jesus from his work. All of these moments of people not working together is why Jesus then tells the crowd that a house divided cannot stand by itself. And then he tells them not to say no to God's Holy Spirit. Here's what Jesus means by those words. Like this pencil, needs the graphite in it before it can work well together with the paper. We need God's spirit in us and in our lives before we can work well with each other. And when we don't ask for it and then accept God's help and spirit, then we aren't able to work very well together, just like we saw in today's scripture. This is also why Jesus says that whatever, whoever pays attention to God is his brother and sister and mother. He's saying that when we pay attention to God, then we'll be working together with Jesus, just like a family, a really big and loving family. Nowadays, we call this family the church and body of Christ. But to make it work well, we still have to keep doing what Jesus is saying in today's scripture. We have to keep paying attention to God and keep inviting God into our lives because it is God's spirit in us that keeps us working together. And when we work together with God and each other, amazing things can and do happen. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus who teaches us how to invite you into our lives so that we can then work together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.